Well, it was really rough <laughs> for me because, you know, the, the school was um, underperforming, one year away from corrective action, um, kind of the mindset that we're doing just fine, even though, you know, 20, 20 to 30 percent of students were meeting or exceeding the state standards. The p whole paradigm has changed. The paradigm of, you know, these kids really can't accomplish much on this side of town to one where these kids can accomplish as much or more than any, any kids here in Tucson, in the state, in the United States. Would all students please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Hi, I'm Karina Ramirez and I love to be proactive because being proactive means you're in charge and if you're in charge, that means uh, I, you can make your own decisions. Well, I'd be proactive by helping my mom clean and do my homework on time. He came in with nothing. He didn't have um, past experience, you know, going into preschool or anything like that. He came in straight into kinder and now he's reading at a level that I can't even imagine. You know, he always tells us, well, you're not sharpening the saw, or you're not thinking win-win, Mom. We adopted the leader in me, which is the children's version of the seven habits of highly effective people. And it's served us really well. In fact, some of the data that we've kept on it is quite amazing. And there's a, a world that is in, in the child's hand, which is really powerful, that these children have all the potential in the world and the 90 signifies that we want 90% of our students to meet or exceed the state standards on AIMS. And I guess really the most important part would be the LEAP, lead, empower, apply, prepare. And we really want them to be prepared for the future, apply the seven habits in their life, those are habits of effectiveness. And if they really do, I mean, they're, not only are they going to be competent, but they're going to have the character. And that's what you want. That's really what effectiveness is, is having competence and character. So I really wanted to be an influence on them and not to teach them the academics and everything, even though that's set high here, especially in our classroom, but to really um, be there, the social emotional part of it. You know, you guys can be leaders, you guys can do this, you can help other people. Just being a positive role model and leader for them. <laughs> Well, now we just have to find the sum, okay? What's four plus eight? So I've got a number of 234. You can learn many things about the book, different languages, funny stuff that you can do. I like I reading. Like reading. Today, these are our primary grades that work on Waterford, and they're focusing right now on math, but they do work on reading, math, and science. And um, the water will start draining, um, and if you get the answers right, then, then that hamster will stay playing. It's teaching me how to skip numbers. This software helps us get prepared for the AIMS and helps us experience what the AIMS is like. I come to Success Maker every day for about an hour. Work. When my mom went to work, my grandma had it to take care of me in the afternoons. Yeah, I love to do writing because I love writing. Science is very great. Math is so mathematical. It is awesome. And I always wanted to tell people about my personal and my academic goals. And I always wanted to do good on the aims and try to get a good uh, perfect score. Ms. Schaefer takes all these out when we're in second grade and we do all of the ones in second grade. Here is our spelling te text, um, our spelling test. And if everybody has 10 out of 10 in first grade or second grade, they have a pizza party. Um, Good, I get 90s and 80s up to 100. So my goal is 80 and up. This is the leader in me, and this has our seven habits. We have um, just different, different pages on what we can to make us a better leader. Then we start going up to habit two, begin with the end of mine. We need to have a plan on our future. We're always talking to one another to see what we can improve, and you see a lot of that. The communication has really been a, a big emphasis here, along with, the, uh, along with the, uh, the hard work and the high expectations. And we know what our um, Mr. Trejo, our principal, we know what he expects out of us. And you want to pull through. You want to you wanna come through. You know, be an inspirational teacher. Mr. Trejo's given us that, but especially the seven habits. That it's really helped me become, and I've, I've felt in my life, 
a better person outside of the school environment, teaching them to be leaders, um, doing the right thing when no one is watching. It's just, it's structured, you know, we, we have procedures, we do things a certain way, and it's throughout the school, you know, now we tell them, we're not just getting ready just for first grade, you know, I want you to get ready for college. As a parent, I love my kids, and I want to make sure that they have the best education possible. So when I did look for a school, I found C. Rose, and I was very impressed. We want to continue progressing. It gets a little tougher every year because as our resources get cut and we have more and more students from other schools that are coming to us that are very needy, then we have to be really strategic and we have to streamline all of our processes and sometimes we have to take things off the plate that we can't manage. And that sometimes is hard because you want to do everything you can, but you have to make those hard decisions because you can't be everything to everyone because if you are, then sometimes you're, you're nothing to anybody. This goal is just, it feels like number one. 